that if he tried to hide it. And not rep. But like if you call it out and you just acknowledge it, then it's no big deal. You're 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 de -arm disarming it. country and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days and I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption <laughs> it'll never work so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day there's a great big beautiful tomorrow just a dream away You just, you just go in with a mission, like a aggressive wrestler, just determined and having your own story. You know, you can escape into the park however you want, be ri as ridiculous as you want. And please keep your arms away from the doors. That's what's amazing. the voiceover every five minutes right. just so he doesn't start to because you know you start to feel the sweats if you don't hear it after so long uh, but then a little bit less you lower the volume you know he'll sleep in a box like set up so it's kind of like the ride vehicle and then in like two to four weeks he'll be a functional member of society again so, oh, welcome back to the land of the mortals yeah we're 42 in I'm having the time of my life I it is the say. most zen, most relaxing experience. Now, I talked about this. I shot like a... I, Kevin is going to be so proud of me. He's going to go back and watch it and be like, it was awful. But I was thinking about vacations in general. And we come to these parks, and we've been to these parks so many times. And why did we travel before, right? We traveled to have a good time. We traveled to have experiences. We traveled to come back home and tell stories, right? So you've been to these parks so many times. You've told all the same stories. Do something different the next time you're in Disney World. Take one of your days and don't drink around the world or don't try to ride every ride. Go to the extreme. Take a challenge that you can take ownership of. Make something up that's ridiculous because what you'll walk away with, regardless of what happens, is the experience and an amazing story. I'm so happy. I'm having, I'm having literally one of the best days. As soon as I got off the ride, I immediately regretted it and I said, I need to get back on the people mover. For rule number one, don't get off the people mover. Oh no, I'm moving myself. If you go outside there, you don't want to go outside there. You don't want to go outside. It's out a there. nightmare right now. You want to stay here. It's soft, it's calm, it's calm. relaxing. I'm going to go look at what uh, protein is available here and then we'll get back in line. Yeah. You want cosmic rays, Rob. I'm kind of thinking, like, I was like, oh, it feels like I just ate, but that was actually like six and a half hours ago or something. Right. It's seven hours. I just checked and I have about four hours left. And so, um, if I just stay on the ride, which I plan to do, I will, I think, get another 20, 20 more in. So I'm gonna at least hit 60. And I came here trying to hit 50. I'm thinking I'd be happy hitting 50. <laughs> community where the people like to go the flowers full of shows I guess there's shows full of flowers but that didn't rhyme I'm 
going to remember this idea, so I'm going to put it to record now. Hopefully, Kenny will get this. Kenny, we just make a, a, a collage of your to of the topiaries from Epcot, Flower and Garden, and we just posted with the title, "These Topes Are Dope." These Diz Topes are Diz Dopes. <laughs> Where is Dan? We can't find him. I don't. He's got to be on one of these people movers. All right, Kenny, I'm gonna come find you. I just did ride 43, buddy. Let's get the let's get the nice camera up here. It's just starting to get golden, buddy. Oh my God! Am I Groundhog Day? All right, are you ready? What number are we? At? How many times have we been here? And who are you? <laughs> yeah, that was 43. Everything today has been amazing. We should we should uh, come up with fun fun facts, 50 fun facts to put for each lap. You know what I mean? Like that's a lot. In yeah. post, we'll just um, we'll just go on Wikipedia. I'll just it, it, most of it's made up. I'm fine. Anyway, let's do this. What are we doing? Okay, what are we you. doing? Are we getting back on? Yeah. Yeah. While we're queuing, Rob, I need to ask me a couple questions. Okay. Welcome to q and I'm Dan. Obviously. This is Rob. Obviously. Formerly known as... Rob. Please. The artist formerly known as... Rob. <laughs> what 43 ride-throughs now, have you gained any insight to, like, the parks or the ride or life or just... Oh yeah. man, I've gained so much insight about human nature. I see the world differently now. And what is always amazes me about the park is that everybody is coming here for something because this is escapism, right? Now, the, it's an interesting Venn diagram of people who know what escapism is and people who don't. And the middle thing is theme park and Disney World guests right here. Because there's like, it's half and half. People, some people know why they're here, and they get it. Right. And some people are just here because they're just like, that's what society this tells is, them. Yeah. Well, just this is it for them. This is their thing, you know? Right. Are you still filming? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still Great. filming. Because I am not, like, I'm, like, special. I can, like, talk to anybody and be like, I can talk to anybody. Right. Very Because they social. have a good aura, yeah. which for the longest time, I'm like, auras, people don't glow, honey. Stop talking like people glow, but I now know what it means. There's a young man on this ride who knows who I am. He's a huge fan of Disney Dan. It's the guy with the beard. The shy guy was wearing glasses, had a little hat on, wasn't making much eye contact for a while. And then when you guys weren't on, he realized who I was. And it was really cool. It was really cool to like understand him. And, and, and now for the past three rides, he's like opened up. He's been amazing. This place is so full of so many people that are here for so many different things. And then when you have to realize that this big business has to manage people's dreams, which is heavy, we're all going to be mad all the time. Or we're all going to be happy in a sad way. But you know, once you realize, once you realize life is hard, Anyway, Disney World's amazing. I'm having the best day. I mean, I've always wanted a Q and A, and this seems like a fun time to. Because uh, I would like to do a podcast. Remain seated throughout your journey, keeping your hands on the wheel. Inside your car, keeping your hands. Before we talk about, and we're on uh, 44. Yeah. And I feel like that number is divine. So let me tell you something. One day, I'm gonna be snatching lightning bolts out of the sky. Like an elderly woman concerned with her testosterone level plucks hairs from her chin, but instead of them being unwanted, they'll be harvested like gold. Lightning. Utopia is wasted at night. No, you write it. I've written it during the fireworks. It's awesome. Sure, but there's other times during the night in which... Don't care. Can I quietly talk about the fireworks? And my ex my, my goals? All those you won't even be. Oh my god, are we empty right now, guys? What is going on? There's no one coming on? Are they waiting? 
Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Do, do, you want, you, do you ever feel like you're walking on a giant record? All right, so the ride just stopped. So here's what's happening. Right now, there is an attendant that's manning the queue, allowing people onto the ride. She is now chaining the ride off, and she's saying, everybody, hold it. Everyone's got to chill out. Now she's wandering over, and there's another chain for her to manage. That is through a small line of people. Once she gets through that chain, there's another, another U of people she has to navigate to get through a small gate. Once through the small gate, she grabs a microphone, or he, or they, grab a microphone. The person wanders over to the platform, they grab a microphone, and they say to everybody, hey, keep your hands and arms inside of the legs. Don't do the stuff. Behave yourself. Oh my God. You know, before you so, keep your arms and she has to boop, 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 boop. You know how, like, um, in Star Trek, they're like, restart it. And they're like, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the bald guy, you're like, restart it. They're like, we're, we're doing, doing it. it. <laughs> and it's just like, are we in the future where robots do everything? Don't you have a robot? Does this a computer just do this? <laughs> you do this, do this all the time. Oh, why do you not do this? It's so anyway, she gonna be a it. nightmare to edit. She boop 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 boop. Use it, yep. She boop 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 it, and then we go. She in the ride starts, and she wanders over, unhooks the chain, starts letting people go back in. Oh my god! I called it out in real time, gentlemen. I just what was the? You give me a CSI pun to put sunglasses on for it. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh. I guess you're. you're no, 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 no. I got one. I got one. Oh, okay. Get your glasses ready, bro. Well, no, you got to do. It. Oh, I guess oh, you oh. could say you're really a Tomorrowland Transit Authority. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God, the lighting's perfect. I guess you could say I'm a uh, Tomorrowland Transit Authority. <laughs> Just moments ago on ride number 43, and while I was doing the loop, someone, as they were entering into Space Mountain, screamed, we love you, Dan, good luck. And they disappeared into the darkness. And it was then I felt like a hero. Honestly, I can't believe how easy this has been. How easy this has been. Rob, how are you doing? Let's check in with Rob. Well, let's give it up for Rob. He's awesome. I don't even know why. I'm surprised at how easy it is to zone out of the parts that would otherwise drive somebody wild. Like the voiceover. I'm numb to it all. Yeah, exactly. I thought I, I I'm numb to all of it. Really start here. Inside this rotating theater, I can't even believe you into their homes how much value today, I've gotten today. Starting way back at the I feel like I have unfairly milked value from Mother Dune's teeth. First at the New York World's Fair, this legendary Dave Batista is waiting in the parking lot. And he's so angry. You know what's never gonna happen, Rob? What? I'm never going to redo. That's a guarantee. Am I, has it broken me? Cause I'm okay. Space Rangers, this is Buzz Lightyear. Report to your star. I mean, I know that I am. Oh, I'm a lunatic at the moment. I know that I'm crazy. I know that I'm like crazy. I know that. But that's okay. I'm perfectly comfortable at a certain level of sustained mania. Flowers made of pineapple half dipped in chocolate. We're talking about an edible arrangement, Rob. Edible arrangements that feature pineapples half dipped in chocolate. Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority. Please remain seated until the 
Rob, would there have been an app that I could have used it's that would have tracked my like round from the time? Unless I've got, did, unless, unless like a... Well, now everyone knows that I'm a fucking lunatic. I keep honey, mustard, and jacket fingers in my backpack. Open, not, there's no bag. Not loose, there's a tray, but there's chicken to zipper touch it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Is that backpack fuzz on your chicken? And how you feel? I'm doing so good. Not tired? Good? Are we going in the right direction? There. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. We have four more to go. I'm just like Carousel of Progress, I'm slowly decaying. Yeah. I'll see that first. Everything? You got your drink? You want your right back on? Sure. Your other food drink. Oh my gosh. Listen, the one right challenge is not to be copied. If you do what I'm doing right now, which is already something someone else did, you basic. So go find your own ride. Leave these people, these people, let them remember me, not you. It's been a great time. I would ride the hot mansion all day. Easily, for sure. But those seats are way more, more uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Um, boats are nice. Boats are also low. Boats are also wet. Your attention. Please Me and Epcot are asbestos buds. This ride has stopped. Me and Epcot are asbestos so buds. We're so, so close. We're almost <laughs> done. Asbestos buddies at Epcot? Here and I am shook. for him. 
Ferris wheel. Polynesian. I would live in one of these. This is your chance to drive in the fast lane without getting a speeding ticket. time I ride this, I'm going to remember this time I did it like dozens of times. Only some serious emotional sabotage will ruin a friendship strengthened by the joy I had today. Are you about to reveal something? <laughs> I am your brother. <laughs> Thank you. Please keep your arms away from the doors and remain seated until the doors slide open automatically. Step oh God, here they come. Batten down the hatches. I am so upset at the response of like, oh, you're not doing it right. You need to do it our way. Honey, there is no mold that has made me, could make me, could categorize, you can't do a decimal me. I'm not here for your experiences. Hi guys. Hey Heather. Are we still on? Heather, have for what? Are we still on? We <laughs> 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 We all, we've all been through something today. I've been through transformation. I feel like a butterfly. There's a hard shell crusted over me, and I liquefied. And you couldn't tell what part of me was what part. And then, I peel, and now I'm me. On the other side of it. Wow. Fireworks. <laughs> It's also video. I'm the worst. And now we are off to the championship lab. So, something that no one's done. This has never been done. Here we are. It's the 50th lap. Well, I have tomorrow. achieved nirvana, guys. I am going to have a tail that is going to become exhausting. In in years to come, people are going to be like, Dan, you've told us this already. And I'll be like, yeah, but you haven't heard all the parts I'm about to remember. It's just going to be a gold mine of lovely, joyful memories. Memories with friends. I feel so accomplished. There's been 50 years of this park. This ride hasn't existed for all 50 of those years. But you know what? Neither have I. And I'm doing all right. Here we are. 50. 50 50. Kenny's almost 50. Closer than I am. <laughs> we were just talking about mortality. Kenny's going to start a Tesla mortality TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Best part of the ride. 
That's the vibe. That has to be the vibe. Okay. Hey, let me pitch you guys a video series. Every year for Halloween, Rob is going to make me a haunted, super spooky PowerPoint ghost story where he takes me through, where he pitches me hard facts that he's researched, documented, scientifically measured with apps, tapes, levels, and tubes. Every year, Halloween Ghost Stories with Rob. Let's talk about it. Tell me if you want that. It's like Ridley two. Scott, guys, guys. I don't even remember Gladiator. We Gladiator. have to. Okay, I'll, I'll oh, be honest that Gladiator sucked. I just respect that movie so much. When I was a kid. Let me tell you about the people I've seen on this ride. They've been every type of person. There isn't a, not a type of person I have not seen get on this ride. Some, some some of them, they look miserable when they get on, and they look miserable when they get off. Some of them get on, and they're still so much joy they can barely contain themselves. And then there's every which face in between. One thing, though, that I think is universal about the People Mover is that it's a great way to relax and indulge in the escapism, the environment, and the theming of the land. And man, there's just, like, you just will never be able to appreciate a land like you can do 30 feet up and 50 times round, seeing it dusk to dawn or dawn to dusk. Step onto the moving It's an amazing ride. What was the question? Hold on. They did it. Do you know who I am? I'm a hero. I'm a champion. I did it. I set out with a goal. Whoa, Kenny's walking backwards. It's danger zone. But it makes me respect him. Respect a man who can walk backwards and forwards at the same time. We did it. People mover. 50 times one day. Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. I'll tell you what, never felt more of a, more like a king than I do right now. You can't tell me that I did not just have one of the best days at a theme park ever. Didn't break any rules. Just had joy. Just joy with friends, and that feels great. And you know what else? I just came in here with a singular plan to do one thing, and it was easy to do, and I accomplished it, and now I can walk away satisfied, and I didn't, you know, I didn't overbook myself, and I can't believe the time I had. Peace. It gives you little vignettes of highly themed environment. It gives you cool breezes and fun ride sounds. It gives you the occasional breakdown. It's a gamble of a ride if you're gonna stop or not. But you know what? Just like the Haunted Mansion, sometimes stopping's half the fun. This People Mover is the ride to be on. I can't praise it enough. People Mover. People Mover. Long live the People Mover. You get a nice, I we wish, you're saying, you wish you had all the lands had a ride like this where you could see everything. I truly wish every land had a People Mover. Every land needs a People Mover. Every themed land. And Tomorrowland's a really wonderfully themed land, you know? the idealized future that we can't keep up with. Oof. Tomorrowland. The People Mover. Brought to you by Enterprise. I'm not brought to you by Enterprise. Hey, Enterprise. Call me. Because I could be brought to you by Enterprise. <laughs> but I'm not. Let's ride it one more time. Kenny, just in case because you know you're gonna edit this. I'm confident. I have the confidence of a hero, Kenny, but let's do one more time for safety. For, one more just for victory, just for safety. Is that, are they screens? Oh God. Oh, they're printed and they're just blowing. Just don't know how to live any other life. This is all we know now. I don't know what I else don't know to what do. else to do. I don't know what else to do.
We're on ride 51 as a backup, and uh, and it stopped. It got it got stuck. We did 50. And Hattie, what do you know? We did 50, and I'm now stuck under a purple, beautiful purple light. Looking good. I can come in, I guess. But wait, how do I, Rob, can you come in? Rob, just move, like, move in there. May I have your attention? Rob, you did it. I was just trying to document friendship, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love it. Just see the idea. We're trapped here for the next hour. Can you imagine? <laughs> you wanted struggle, you needed conflict. Oh well, we really, like, legit spent 14 hours on this ride. You especially. Bob and I at least got a couple breaks here and there. Our princess may not have lives back. It's a perfect reminder that there's always a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Hi, I'm Dan, and I rode the People Mover 55 times today. And uh, it was worth every penny. This is me after riding the People Mover 55 times. I've got, I'm still, I've got, I've got, I've got all the wherewithal. I've got ninja-like reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what's the next ride? Let's go then. <laughs>